Are vertical antennas noisy? Well, if you ask a lot of hand radio operators, they will say yes, but equally, quite a few will say no, they're not. Now, of the ones that say that verticals are noisy, they're probably passing on, or some of them are passing on what they've been told, and therefore they think the verticals are noisy because they've been told they're noisy. But on the other hand, there's a proportion of those that say the vertical is noisy will say that based on their experience. And likewise, others that say they're not noisy will be saying that because they've been told they're not noisy, but some of them will say they're not noisy because that's their experience. Now, if you are one of those that say a vertical is not noisy, that's based on your own experience. The chances are you may well be operating in the middle of a field or away from any noise anyway. Those that say that the vertical is noisy, and that's based on their experience, will be telling the truth. They've found the vertical is noisy. And that may well be because they're operating in a sort of urban, suburban situation where they're surrounded by houses and we know that all houses generate noise. Of course, it's not only houses that generate noise, there's all sorts of other things that generate noise. But if you're in a built-up area, you probably have got a noise level. And the vertical antenna may well be causing you a problem. Now, from my own experience, I would say that I've always found that the vertical antenna is noisy, but I've always operated in a fairly built-up area. So why is a vertical noisy? Or is it, put it another way, is it more noisy than other forms of aerial? Now it's important to say that we're talking about, when we talk about noise, we're talking about local noise, local electrical noise, noise that's generated locally. We're not talking about the general hubbub and noise you get on the ham radio bands that come through sort of sky wave and so forth. We're talking about local noise. Uh, over the years that I've operated, I've always found that my verticals are noisier than horizontal antennas. But I have operated vertical antennas in built-up areas because that's all I can put up at that particular location. And, you know, okay, there's noise there, but they still work. So if we find that a vertical antenna is noisier than your horizontal antenna, why should that be? There's got to be some reason why a vertical is more prone to noise than a horizontal antenna. Now, I recently had an incident in the garden here where all my buried radials were cut that meant to say that all the buried radials I'd put under the lawn over the last few years, they were still there, but there was no connection to them. And, you know, my first thought was, oh gosh, you know, because we're in the middle of the summer now, I've got a clay soil, I can't um, bury radials in the summer because the clay soil is like concrete. So, and I also had, I've also had some radials on the ground as well. But these are, I've now disconnected these. So I've got a radar, I've got an antenna, a vertical antenna here, which has got no radials on. Uh, it doesn't work very well without radials. But it did set me thinking about uh, what I'd covered in earlier videos about radials, which I'll come back to you in a minute. Basically, um, why does a, an antenna, why does a vertical antenna tend to hear noise better than a horizontal antenna. There have been some suggestions that noise is vertically polarised. That's why a vertical antenna hears it. Well, I don't buy that really, because why would noise be vertically polarised? You know, I want to think it would be randomly polarised, it could be horizontally polarised, it would be vertically polarised. A mixture of both. So I don't buy that theory that um, the vertical picks up noise because the noise is vertically polarised. But there is another theory, and I think this is more, uh, this is likely to be the truth. 
Noise basically generates ground waves, right? And ground waves, generally speaking, are picked up better with vertical antennas than with horizontal antennas. We know this going back to the early days of radio, the, the big medium wave transmitters and so forth, and even on 160 meters, we always found that a vertical antenna was a good antenna for 160 for local uh, contacts, because on the lower frequencies, ground wave extends quite a long way, actually. Well, there's always ground wave anyway um, on the HF bands, but the ground wave gets less and less as we go higher in frequency. But nevertheless, in a near field situation, a vertical antenna tends to pick up ground wave much better than a horizontal antenna. And I think this is the reason that local noise tends to be radiated as a ground wave. And because a vertical antenna picks up a ground wave better than a horizontal antenna, that's why a vertical antenna tends to be noisier. But it's only noisier in a particular location. If you put a vertical antenna in the middle of a field where there's nothing around for you know, 100 metres or something like that, it's going to be pretty quiet. That vertical antenna will be just as quiet as your horizontal antenna. It's only in built up areas where there's a problem. Now, I did some uh, tests recently using just a single radial. And because my radial is vertical, this by the way is a um, 4B TV which covers 10, 15, 20 and 40 metres. Because I've got no radials, I thought, well, I'm going to try something now. I'm going to just try a single radial on this, but not a single radial on the ground. I'm going to try a radial that is raised off the ground. Now, if you watched the previous video that I did, I said that the radial can be raised off the ground, even though the radial actually starts off at ground level at the terminating point of the base of the antenna. Provided that radial is raised off the ground as it leaves the antenna, it tends to act as an elevated radial. So here's my radial here, it's a single radial terminated at the base of the antenna and it's rising up at an angle of around about, I don't know, 15 degrees or so. And it ends up here around about four, four foot or about a metre, just over a metre above the ground with a little insulator there. And this radial is resonant on 20 metres, it's a quarter wave on 20 metres. That means to say, of course, that you might actually be able to null out a bit of noise. If you know where the noise is coming from and you put a radial in the opposite direction, it will tend to reduce that noise a bit. Secondly, when you raise a radial off the ground, you tend to get better performance of the antenna. There's around about a 3 dB gain and you don't need lots of radials. The other thing that I found, and somebody mentioned this, a couple of people mentioned this in, in um, recent comments to the videos, that if you raise a radial off the ground, you tend to reduce the noise level. And I suppose that is because you tend to reduce the ground wave receiving capability of a vertical. So three things, raising a radial off the ground gives you directivity, it gives you better performance, and it reduces noise. And I found this on this 4BTV. I've just put a resonant 20 meter radial on it. I immediately noticed my noise level has gone down. And I can honestly say that the performance of the antenna is certainly no, no worse um, than what it was when I had loads of radials. In fact, I would say, really and truly, I can't tell much difference on the 20 meter band. Okay, on the other bands, it's obviously not so good. But on the 20 meter band, I found I'm getting good performance. I'm getting lower noise, and I think I'm getting a bit of directivity. It's difficult to tell directivity at the moment. I haven't done any tests. But if I've, if I've reduced the noise and get about the same performance, or perhaps even a bit better, by having a single radial, that's something to consider, isn't it? So there's always something new to learn about antennas. So if you've got a vertical antenna, and if you've got noise, then what I would suggest you do is you try disconnecting all your radials and just connecting one or two resonant radials 
connect them at the base of the antenna, take them up at an angle of around about 10 or 15 degrees, it's not critical, but you need to get that radial off the ground. And see if you notice an improvement. You should notice an improvement in signal performance and you should notice some sort of reduction in noise level. So it's worth giving that a try. So as usual, thank you for watching this somewhat short video actually. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, the videos that we do on this channel um, prove uh, useful. And we try to um, really pass on, well I do anyway, try to pass on my experience. And you know, with, a with aerials, we can talk a lot about theory of aerials. This, is, this, will, this should do this, this should do that. We try to model this and we try to model that. You know, sometimes you have to try these things out. And there are occasions when an aerial will work better in one location than another. There's no obvious reason for it. Some, some of you, I'm sure, have found that a particular aerial works better than you expected. And other aerials don't seem to work very well at all. So it's all about experimenting. It's all about cut and try and see whether this works and that works. Anyway, thanks for your support on this channel. It's much appreciated. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. That really alerts you to new videos that come up. In the meantime, you enjoy your ham radio. And, as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.